gente, começando mais um vídeo de Tales of Vesper, edição definitiva, apresentado por mim, Alice, que eu peço desde já que você deixe um like, se inscreva no canal se você não for inscrito para contemplar mais de 340 detonados. Vamos entrar aqui na Academia Celular da Aspio. Seeing the Anafagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah, to think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along, it's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Atafagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Vamos lá por aqui. Vamos encontrar o mago mais famoso de Aspio. Adivinha quem é? Eureka! Eureka! Oh, Rita! Yuri is. We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So, Rita, we can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable, non-dispersing piece should be. Hey, Rita. What? Don't bother me. Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into? Wait, you're. Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle... That was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory... We have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. 
Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! <sighs> oh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was all right if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! Are you happy? <sighs> Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Yuri! Ah! I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around... We just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of... Tr the Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. <sighs> core! That's it! What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The epithea we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Bellius's epithea. 
the Cyanoseal. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyanoseal after the Dawn died? Um... What about Harry? Shouldn't he know, being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zod. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. 
The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, you make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you! Wait up! What about the apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated Air Crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Horror! Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Aw, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. Lá para as ofertas. Ah, se vou comprar itens que eles têm na verdade. Vacilada, mano. E de novo.
Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. saying the strangest things in your sleep. What was it? Come on, tell me! Hey, don't go telling weird stories about me. You were chanting magic spells. So what? That's not scandalous or anything. Shut up! What were you expecting, anyway? Rita, I think all this fighting we've been doing is getting to you. Rita, you were so cute saying spells in your sleep. What are you talking about? But I have to say, I was pretty surprised when the spell actually worked. Seriously? You see... Rita, you should really get a little more rest. How much of that was true and how much of it was a total lie? Oh, I've never been very good at lies. I have been trained by knights. I won't lose. So is that okay? Nice, bro. Man, 
Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. You're finished. Oh, oh six encircling stars. Be as light that obstructs all things. There's no way we're gonna lose. I have mastered a skill. You sure do like walking around outdoors. Who are you talking to? <laughs> just myself. Going senile now, huh? We've just been wandering around outside for quite a while now. It might be a nice change of pace sometimes to collect materials for synthesis. And we have Baul, too. We could use him to fly around and collect them a lot faster. You're saying we should get help from Baul? Yeah, I think that Baul probably wants to help all of us with what we're doing. Of course, it's your call whether to collect materials for synthesis or just wander around. Seriously, who are you talking to? <laughs> is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're probably scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel. Constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. Well, I can't understand being so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. Processo concluído. 
Gente, obrigado por assistir. Deixe um comentário, like, ative o sininho. Um abraço aos cavaleiros, um beijo às damas. Fiquem com Deus. Se inscreva no canal se você não estiver inscrito. Siga-me no Twitter e Facebook. Até o próximo vídeo.